Well, as you can see, we have an epic fail going on. It's the first time I changed the nozzle on my Ender 3 here, and I thought it was in all the way, uh, but it wasn't. So I know how to fix this. We are going to wait for the print to finish because it is doing a lot of stringing right now, but it's a fair amount of plastic in there, and it's uh, actually coming out all right quality-wise. Uh, but as soon as this print's finished, we are going to show you how to tighten down that nozzle. We'll clean that up a little bit and we'll run a test print to make sure that we got it properly tightened this time. Stay tuned. All right, now that the video has begun, I've had a little change of heart. I don't think we're gonna wait. We're gonna pause the print here. Um, because it should spit the head out and keep it hot. Uh, let's see here if we can get, let me get some light on this. And we'll see if we can get in there and tighten this guy down here. Alright, so I got it to go about a quarter turn, not much. I have a feeling that when I unplugged my hot end the other day, um, that I may have not screwed it in all the way on the inside. So we're going to clean this off here, and we're going to hit resume and see if it continues our print. Uh, or if we're just going to completely start over, and in that case we will pull apart the whole hot end here. Uh, and rebuild. I don't want that support, damn it. Okay. Um, I also have, you'll notice, a big blob of goo up here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get that real quick. Hang on one second. Hang on a second. Yeah, set you right here. Ain't that the best view? Nothing. Help me shine a little light on the situation. See if I can determine where I'm leaking from here. Alright, and I can see, um, it's hard to see in there with the light, okay, um, but you see that there, that's not good either. So we're going to stop the whole machine, we're going to shut it off, we're going to clean it out, or you can't go on like this. Alright guys, well, let's pretend for safety's sake that you don't hear my machine whirring in the background, and that it is not actually going off. Uh, you can see... I've got some issues going on here. Um, totally my fault. Shouldn't be happening, but it is. Uh, I found the leak. So we're going to clean this mess up. We're going to tighten that seal, which is basically right there. Um, but I need to get something to clean this a little bit more effectively. So we'll be back in just a second. All right, we got the hot end all assembled. I did finally shut it off, then I turned it back on. Now I'm shutting it off again. Uh, guys, for safety's sake, definitely don't do this with your with your printer on. Um, so as you can see, my nozzle is not even close to screwed in all the way, but it won't get any tighter, okay? Uh, and that's because the heat break is actually in there too far so what I need to do is I need to free up the nozzle and then I need to ease back the the heat break there um, and then I need to get the nozzle to the proper position and then reinsert the heat break so it touches the nozzle so we're gonna do that now and we'll show you the finished product here alright as you can see we got it all back assembled here um, and I'm gonna peel this down you can see I have um, get out of the way about a little over a millimeters room in there 
um, before it was sticking out about four millimeters, which is way too far. Uh, it was causing a, a gap in my heat gap here that was causing filament to leak out both the top and around the nozzle. So um, we've adjusted it. We've got them both properly seated now. We're going to get it uh, all put back together and turn back on and we'll give it a test print. And, make sure and as you can see, I mean, even yesterday we were running smooth as silk after changing the, uh, the nozzle and the extruder. Um, I'm feeling even better about this now because I was noticing some weird stringing on some of my models and I realize now that that was coming from the leak in my hot end so uh, you live and you learn if you guys have the same mistake or leaking around the hot end it's very likely that the nozzle is not seated properly and it's causing it to leak between the nozzle and the heat break so um, take it apart definitely turn your machine off wait for things to cool down pry it apart uh, bust out all that plastic out of there, I know it's a pain. And then you're going to want to seat the nozzle about a millimeter away from the actual hot end. You don't want it all the way in. And then go ahead and adjust your heat sink. So. Alright, as you can see folks, the part came out pretty nicely. Uh, very smooth. I didn't have any more leaking issues. Uh, if you're wondering, this is actually a piece of my printer that I'm building from scratch here. So I've printed and built all of this guy. This is uh, the Technovore 1.0. I have a build video, a couple build videos actually, because there's a whole playlist. I've fired it up a few times, messed around with the firmware. Haven't quite dialed it in yet. I have a couple more pieces to print and some things to hook up. Uh, and then I'm waiting on some longer screws here I gotta grab so I can get the flywheels in there to make them, uh, to raise and lower the bed. But um, so far so good. You'll see more about this in the future. If you guys want to see me do a live stream of the first print from this printer. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and I'm looking for subscribers. I need 100 subscribers so I can live stream the first print off the Technovore 1.0, the printer I built. So uh, tell a friend, talk them into subscribing, hit that button yourself and we'll see you soon.